Ken Carson doing numbers now, not gonna lie. Yeah. 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 I don't know if y'all saw this, but he just got his first debut on Billboard. And I couldn't be more proud of my boy. My boy. And it got number 79. You know, that's, just, that's not too high on Billboard, but I can't imagine how many streams you actually need to get to get on Billboard when you're like going up against like Drake and Taylor Swift and blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, Yeet got Breathe number 40 something, 42. But like, hey, Yeet got the Drake feature. And so like, he, uh, and I'm not trying to discount Yeet at all. I'm just saying like Yeet is huge. And so we kind of start, we got to start putting respect on Ken Carson's name as well. I actually liked Overseas a lot. I've been playing it a lot. It's like the top of my playlist along with Miley Cyrus by Shay. But something to note is someone brought it up to me earlier where they were saying like, wait, so is nowadays, is Ken Carson more relevant than Uzi? Because what was Uzi's last single? And now I know we're going to get a lot of hate here. It's, it's just a fair question, though, because I know Uzi, he was blowing up in the headlines over the super gay shit that he was doing on stage. And yes, of course, like he's a bigger brand than Ken Carson. But if we're talking about music, Red Moon and NFL, I don't think they actually got on Billboard, which were her, his last releases, right? So... If Ken Carson is doing number 79 on Billboard with his single release, now granted, his rollout for the single was much more, you know, like promotion behind it. And Uzi just dropped on a whim, surprise drops on Christmas with Red Moon and then NFL a little bit before that. That was like, and both of them released on YouTube exclusively before the actual song dropped on Spotify. So a lot of the streams didn't come through. But I'm just saying like, there are levels to this shit. Uzi's supposed to be like way bigger, right? And like he's a, he could drop halfway through the week. And I feel like he still could get billboard. But now Ken Carson, like, is there a shift going on nowadays? Is Ken really getting to that status? Because I think he very well could be. Did I do 10 lines of crack? Yes. And I don't even know what that means. <laughs> because I, I think you smoked that shit. Uzi OG who always be relevant it's just Ken turn right now exactly what I'm saying like respect I respect Uzi all time goat artist I love Uzi I'm just saying Ken's getting to that level like we're talking about Ken Carson being mainstream but nah this is mainstream like normally if you go outside on the side of the street last year you could have been like you gone up to a dude have you heard of Ken Carson? Like someone who's in, in, in the demographic of like 18 to 28 or 24, let's say. Fit, no, let's say 13 to 24. You ask him who Ken Carson is, you know, a lot of them might not know, but now he's number 79 on Billboard. Like this is, this is almost like he's, he could be on the radio. He probably already is on certain stations, but like he's, he's pushing towards like being a, being a big ass artist. So, and same thing with Lone. I hope Loan, does, does Loan have any singles on Billboard? I don't think so. But uh, actually, let's look at this. Destroy, Lonely, No Stylus. I think, I think that might be No Stylus marked his first entry. But I think that was, that was the album No Stylus. Let's see. If it was a kill. Number 18. Singles. Okay. So he doesn't have any singles technically on Billboard, but I feel like he could also push that very soon. Lonic. Man, this is why we need Uzi to have artists because I feel like, you know, their narrative might be switching on him a little bit, but if he had artists to continue his legacy, like Ken and Lone or Homicide Gang or whatever, but like his own version. Like if he had signed Sofago if, or if he had signed somebody of that stature, Yeet, like maybe the narrative might be a little bit different. Dude, Uzi co signed Skywater. Yeah, 
But we're not talking about cosigns right now. We're talking about signing. Whereas like when you think of Ken and Lone, it's like you got to give Cardi the credit. You know what I mean? But like with Uzi, when Skywater went up, he technically went on tour with Lil Nas X. Yes, Uzi co-signed him, but you can't give him all of the credit. So a lot of cash, Desto. Yeah, she passed away, but no disrespect to her. But she, you know, that type of music wasn't really going mainstream anyway. But yes, Uzi should have signed Yeet and Sofago. Who knows if they would have done it anyway. But yeah, Ken and Lone. It's great to see like this this niche actually go up and be top notch where everyone can be like, oh, okay. Underground may not actually be so underground. 